Hello and welcome back here to Tuesday for Torture of Tuesdays here on the channel. We're here to take a look at some of the new updates that have been dropped here for the spooky season, Halloween content, some voice chats and lobbies, custom tournaments, new track, as well as spoilers and such, and Halloween content. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that are found in the description box below. So I'm a little late to this update. I do apologize for that, but was a little bit busy this weekend. I know you guys caught a glimpse of uh, doing some recording stuff with it. Uh, I accidentally went live by mistake for about nine minutes or so. So we are going to take a look at some of that. Hopefully I can still get those spooky crates here for today. I don't know if they're actually available or if that challenge has subsided. Like I said, I'm a little bit late to this video. And unfortunately, no, it's just sponsor crates, so I can't get Halloween crates right now. Rip on my part, I failed on that one. So unfortunately, we can't get the Halloween crates. But there's some cool things to update. As you can see, the garage is definitely very Halloween-esque themed with, you know, Halloween this weekend. We got pumpkins and rims and cobwebs and everything like that. Definitely super cool and amazing to see that kind of thing. We do also have now a wide body on the Z. So we did turn the driver off in the graphics so that he's not sticking his head through there or through the door. Although for Halloween, that'd be pretty sweet. So we do have the Z full wide body kit and everything on there. We're gonna be doing a livery on it here very shortly because of course we gotta add a livery. Unfortunately, I wish we could buy Halloween crates, but we can't buy Halloween crates. So hopefully there will be a Halloween um, event or something that I can get some of those Halloween crates for. Oh wait, Halloween crates right there. We can buy Halloween crates. <laughs> so we're gonna buy five Halloween crates. We're gonna open up here today because well, yes. So let's open up five Halloween crates so we can get pumpkin alloys, bonehead alloys, spider alloys, custom cars and things of that nature. Hopefully we can pull some cool stuff here with these Halloween crates. We're going to open up five crates. We got some zombie brush set, some more brush set stuff. That's pretty sweet. Um, a zombie Z going on, the going on the Z. Definitely think we should do something with that. With the Z, maybe a Halloween themed livery. Third set, we got the brush set again. So we will get cash for that, and we got some more Halloween stuff. We did get a pro clutch, though. So that's uh, coming in clutch with that. No pun intended. Third, crate opening, some intake, some more Halloween brush stuff, which is going to be good because I think we should do a Halloween theme 350. Yep. So fourth crate, some more brushes, some more stuff, more Halloween-themed icons and stuff, which is really cool to have for uh, future liveries and stuff of that nature last one some more stuff and uh, more brush sets so we'll take a look at some of those brush sets that we unlocked with the halloween things maybe we'll uh get some more gold in here and actually do some uh more halloween crate openings and try to get some uh more parts and some more cool things. Be cool to get some of those custom wheels and things of that nature. So we don't need any of these. So we will sell this stuff while we're here. That sad pumpkin back there. Unfortunately, it's not getting any love. So we do have the pro, pro clutch already, but the clutch master looks a little bit better. So we will throw that on there. We're gonna keep this one just in case we don't like it. And then I think that was all we actually pulled. So let's go back, go to the paint shop, and take a look at some of these little icons and things of that nature that we got. We should probably uh, paint the wheels a different color. Feeling white without the chrome and the matte. We'll do that and we'll apply that to all the wheels do like the white spokes on these cars so we're gonna go to body and take a look at some of the decals that we unlocked 
So special, is it under the special? No, that's the FD stuff. Nope, it would be under here. We got the A's, that, and got all kinds of special goodies here for the Z. So for sake of Halloween and the episode, we're just gonna put the bone Z on the Z and we're gonna rotate that. We're gonna put the bone Z just right there because, well, why not? We unlocked it, so we're just gonna throw it on there. And we also have to, of course, we have to throw on the Evil Rabbit logo, because the car wouldn't be complete without it. And we're gonna throw that as well on the front of the car. Just throwing some decals on here so that we have them on. We're gonna confirm that. So, if you guys are enjoying the Halloween crates, I will see if I can maybe get some more Halloween crates open for you guys before this Saturday and Halloween. So, some more torture videos possibly coming out for you guys to, you know, very shortly. Yep, we're going to have to get some more crates. We're going to have to get some more gold and uh, maybe open up a 10 crate one here for another episode. But let's take the car out, take a look at the new track that we have available for us. I don't think we have anything open on it. We do not. So we're going to go take a look at it and see what we can do with it. And that's right here. It's definitely a very difficult track. I've tried, like, if you caught that glimpse of the live feed, you guys understood. I was trying to do it, and it was, it was very, uh, very challenging for me. So we're going to throw the Z out here with the Y body. throw it in because it's so close and so narrow it's very easy to get lost in the walls like that as I say that we get lost in the wall we throw a massive clutch kick on there and we fail so it's very easy to get found yourself in the walls on this track it's definitely something that I need to get a little more practice on but Z is looking up pretty good with the Y body kit on there and definitely getting more and more used to the controller there's just a wall tap throw it in riding the wall and see that's where I get I get too greedy on these walls and I tend to throw myself too much into it and then this little roundabout 180 definitely catches you off guard if you're not paying attention it is a fun track I believe this was in Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this was something that may have been in Europe. Unless I'm thinking of the Coliseum Drift event in Ireland and things of that nature. But it's definitely a fun track to drive. Very close quarters, very close in tandems. So we're going to try and tandem ourselves with the Z. Definitely like the fact that we got the Z back and moving with the full Y body because I wasn't using it before because the driver's head stuck out. So I like that we can run two different cars now and we can chase with different cars. So we can run a lead run with one car and then chase with a different car. Something that I've just now recently noticed, which is definitely all oh, very cool. Trying to stay in chase. Oh, kind of picking ourselves up on that uh, jersey barriers on the side. Oh, we are not in the right place for a chase. So just a quick look at the new track. We're going to be running tandems and stuff of that nature. But now that we can run custom tournaments and things, that is where... It's going to become big into play with the live streams. So, we can do custom lobbies. And we can turn it into a tournament. Two rounds with four players. Three rounds. Four rounds. 16. All the way up to 64 players and six rounds. So, we can do a top 32 challenge. And we can open it up into public with a password. So, things that I will be doing here on some live videos and live streams here on the channel with Torque Drift. So look to that coming to the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all information of that as well as on the channel. So we should try and grab this 
sponsor crates for Orlando if we can. It's Chase against Dean Carney. We need 25K. I don't think the Z is going to be able to do that, but we're definitely going to try. I don't think we have enough speed to keep up with Dean Kearney's Viper with the Z. But we can definitely give it our best foot forward. Yeah, not enough to keep up, but close. I mean, we were at the 21 mark. If we would stay close to him maybe on the bank, we could probably do it. So I think we're going to give it another shot with the Z. Because Z rocking a full wide body in the white wheels, definitely liking the way this looks, but we're going to have to do a full livery on it. So if you guys want to see a full livery build on this Z as its own episode, let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, that might be a little bit better because we're getting up there with the wall rides. Yeah, that's a little bit better off that first bank, but can we keep... The pressure on through the inner bank, I don't think we can. I don't think we got enough power or grip in the Z to keep up with Dean Kearney's car. So we're going to switch it up to another car and see if we can't bang this challenge out real quick. Getting more comfortable on a controller, learning how to actually run on the controller. So I do have a lot of fun with Bad Mike's cars, so we're going to pull out his FDR X7. Kicking in third. Fourth gear. Throw it in. A little bit lower than I want to be. I don't think we're going to be able to get it with this, with the FD either. Ah, uh, it's going to be close, but not close enough. We weren't high enough on the bank. It was way more than with the Z, so we're going to give it one more throwdown. Because I feel like we can actually get this challenge completed here on the next run, hopefully. So if you guys keep wanting to see torture videos on the channel, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Nope, that's not going to do it. <clears throat> change car a little bit Got a little bit out of whack so we'll pull back one of his other cars we'll pull out the bad bull that rx8 definitely uh was enjoying running the bad bull recently not a car I ran too much recently so definitely not the speed we needed on that bank we need to go into fourth gear apparently I don't think the bad bull's gonna cut it either. Uh, no, the bad bull will not cut it. Man, we're failing all end aspects. We're not gonna, we're not gonna fail this episode. We're gonna have to bust out the big gun chase car that I've been very comfortable with chasing. But we're gonna have to. Hopefully, we can do this because you know we want to finish this episode off with a completed challenge. Oh, don't lose him through the inner bank. That is where our problem lies, is through that inner bank. Ugh. Rest in pieces to my wanting to complete the challenge here live on the channel. And of course, we overshoot him there. And then kind of just bash into his door there. Fortunately, I don't think that it's going to happen. So we did take a quick look at some sponsor crates and some Halloween crates and things of that nature while we're trying to shotgun this challenge. So like I said, maybe we'll uh, get some more crates and uh, throw down a 10 crate buy or some Halloween crates more before Halloween. If you guys want to see more Halloween crates opening, let me know down in the comment section down below. This may actually be better yep this 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 will be it this is definitely what we needed we'll finish it off on that so maybe i'll talk to the devs get some more halloween crates to open and do a opening video here for maybe a halloween special or maybe before halloween 
So let me know down in the comments if it's something you'd want to see. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.